Hi guys, this is lesson number 42 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to place an image on any surface realistically. As you can see that I have here floral design that is just a JPEG image with the white background and I blend it with the image here. And there is a heart shape I took from the Coral Draw default shapes. These vector shapes and this uh, JPEG image we blend it by using transparency. And here you can see that I have an image on the shirt we have logo actually this logo is not a part of this shirt we just place it we did this simply with the envelope tool and transparency as you can see that in the logo the fabric texture it's appeared here and from the lower right you can see the way the shirt it is stretched the logo it goes this way this is what we achieve by using envelope tool and inside shirt you can see the surface the way it is on the shirt it's appear inside logo so it's give realistic look this is very easy and handy trick and as a graphic designer you need to know that because sometime in your design layout you really need that so let's get started uh, let me move these things to the side so we are going to import that images we have a logo this picture and uh, here we have another image with the flower so i will go to the file import and in my gallery I have that images I am going to import this image you can see that here we have this image named with love press control key and click it and here I have uh, another image and logo click on import and simply click and drag to place the images in your document All right, so let's start with this floral design. I'm going to select this object order to front of the page or from the keyboard. You can press control home to bring it in the front and we'll reduce the size. Okay, so these two images uh, wait a moment we are going to do after this so here we have two images and if you are going to use the transparency control you need to make it sure that the background of the image it is black or pure white so you can apply any blend mode that's match with the image which is below i am going to resize so here we have an image overlapping to this picture and it's very easy we are going to change the transparency mode let's uh, click on transparency here we have transparency tool click it and from here i'm going to choose multiply once i will click on multiply the white color it will disappear you can see that now the front image which is having white background it's appear this way and you can see that under this uh, once it is selected with the transparency tool we have your opacity bar this slider you can increase and reduce the transparency and it's really merged inside this image it's blended that's very simple let's bring that heart shapes here we have a uh, shapes you can see that in your case maybe the polygon tool is active because that is the first tool so you need to go down and click on the common shapes and here we have shapes you can just click on this small arrow to the right side and you will be able to expand the common shape panel so from here i am going to use heart shape okay so here we have fill it with the red color simply i am going to rotate it and just place it here though it is a vector shape still we can apply transparency and we can blend with the image since it is having color we'll go to the transparency and here if i will click once again multiply you can see that now the lower image you can see through this heart shape and if you want still you can increase and reduce the transparency to match with this uh, flower color to do this we'll go back to the transparency and you can see that here we have this slider okay so that is fine i'm going to copy by pressing plus key from the keyboard we can duplicate and move it we can mirror here 
and just place that way. So, you can see that our vector shape and this uh, image it is blend with this photo and it is look realistic. So, that is very simple and easy trick. Here we have another image you can see that the logo is placed for this thing we are going to use this jpeg logo it is having a white background around if i will place it this way and uh, just apply transparency mode multiply it will work this way because it is having white background but if i want to do this way you can see that the white background inside it's appear but around we don't have we need to do some further steps so if i will apply transparency here while it is selected i can click on transparency and you can see that here we have multiply I can apply. So, it works this way. Somehow it is also ok without any white background it is placed and it look realistic. But if you want to achieve the result this way uh, we will do differently. I will select it transparency and here I can apply normal and it is back to the normal state. If I want to remove the background we can create shape and we can clip inside this logo. For this thing I am going to create one square in front of this logo using rectangle tool. Remove color left click and right click to apply outline for now. Just we need to match from side to side with the edges and we have a corner here. Here we have control that we can apply radius. You need to make sure that round corner is active and click on this up side arrow to apply the radius and you can even apply the amount here you can type here. I am just going to increase this way to match the radius with the corner of the logo that is fine and now that shape it is in the front of this logo. Go to the pick tool select it select this picture the logo you can even right click and uh, go to power clip inside and simply click inside the shape that we created and you can see that our logo is clipped inside and the background around it is removed. We have black outline around we can right click here to remove but once it is selected you will observe here the power clip feature it is appeared. It is because of the logo is clipped inside if I want this logo in the final state this way I can convert to bitmap. So, the power clip feature it will move. For this thing while it is selected I can go to a bitmap, convert to bitmap, leave the setting as it is and then click OK. So, you can see that we do not have any more power clip feature and our logo is this way in the final state. I am going to reduce the size. This time since we do not have a background around we can apply different transparency mode. While it is selected I will go to the transparency and here we have a normal. If I will use multiply it is same way. So, we will try another one we have here another mode overlay you can see that now we can see the white background also and it is really look realistic because the texture and the fabric on the shirt it is appear inside our logo and the way the shirt is stretched it also shows inside the logo. Another thing if I want to make it more uh, realistic we can use envelope tool to stretch this logo a little bit while it is selected you can go to the envelope you can see that here we have envelope tool in your case it might be shadow so you need to go down and choose envelope. You can see that now envelope control is around our logo and if I will stretch it the way the shirt is stretched from the lower right corner look at this this way I can just little bit displaced. Ok, so that is fine click on move tool. So, this how we achieve this beautiful result we blend one image to another. You can download from the google any floral design which is having white background and you can try on your picture and if you have some logo you can use this trick to place on the fabric or on any texture. Similar result we can achieve by using displays effect that what we are going to learn in our coming lesson. That is all for now I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice. Guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.